Hello and welcome back to some Cook, Serve, Delicious, and I'm going to be whipping up your favorite treats today. And uh, let's take a look at our career menu. Oh, so I was recording this before and I made the biggest blunder. I went through all the messages and then I realized, oh wait, I'm not actually recording. So luckily I didn't go through any of the, the, the day um, doing all the cooking and stuff, but I got my menu sorted out. Uh, my, see my active menu today is uh, soda, salad, chicken, and uh, lasagna. So we got those on the menu today, and I uh, can't put fish because that's, and everything else is making it go downwards. Anyway, I bought corn dogs. Uh, anyway, what's up with me lately? I graduated college. Yes, it's very weird to say that because I don't feel like I've graduated because I'm more or less living uh, on large water with ice. More or less, I am living in the area after, or in a couple of weeks. So I don't feel like I am like officially out of there, like I'm gonna see a lot of my friends that uh, went to school with me. I'm gonna be back on my campus, you know, every so often because I still have friends there, uh, alumni weekend and all that stuff. So I, I really don't feel like I graduated. Uh, I'm gonna keep in contact with a bunch of my professors because they're all some of the best people I've ever met in my life. Um, the PSCR, PSCR, PSCR. Um, so yeah, that's what's up with me lately. Um, so I'm back home for a couple of weeks and then I'm going back up. Uh, because I get to officially start my real job, and my real job, uh, to put it in a nutshell, is just basically data analytics for a primary care company. But uh, I get to have fun and commute down, t down to another state every single day, again, like I did last summer, um, to PSCR, PSCR, PSCR. Um, so I'm gonna be commuting like 45, 50 minutes each way every single day for. A good while. <laughs> um, ideally, you know, I don't want. Ideally, I don't want my commute to be much longer, because uh, last summer I commuted an hour and five minutes, you know, one way, and then you know it was terrible, and oh, traffic was awful coming back. It was like an hour and a half usually every day, unless I left the office much later. Um, then it was, you know, a lot shorter, but still, like, trying to do that commute was awful, and that's because, that's because I was living in Boston, and this time I'm living in the, I'm living in the outskirts of Boston, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to commute in and out. I will get a little bit more sleep, just a tiny bit, um, and I won't really have to sit through much traffic. I just need to sit through just a tiny bit piece of traffic um, for my judgments. And that's it. Um, so yeah, I'm starting my, my real job, my real life. I'm moving out of my parents' apartment, basically. Uh, but I'm going to be back home uh, a lot. Or, you know, just enough that I can tolerate my parents and, and I can see some friends. But uh, nothing too crazy. Not like every single weekend, because that would be a lot of driving. Uh, and I want my car to last a while. Um, speaking of cars, um, I've been wanting to try and keep my car, or get my car, two million miles, which sounds PSCR, PSCR, sounds really crazy. But uh, hear me out. I think I think with just regular maintenance, just making sure that you're on the maintenance of your car, you can keep a car forever. And other news of cars. Um, if you have not seen the car video that I made. I think it was a couple of weeks ago or last week or something. Uh, small water with ice. Um, please go check it out. I know I got an extreme amount of positive response from it, and you guys want to see more of it. And I'm still debating whether I want to put it on another channel because I don't want to bombard this channel with car videos. And if you guys don't care about car videos, and you know, I don't want, I don't want you guys to watch them. Um, but uh, if, if I make a dedicated car channel, I can do a lot more car stuff. Um, I can even do car vlogs. Um, I can review my own car. I can review my friends' cars if they let me. Uh, right now, they don't really trust me driving their their cars, <laughs> which is the funny thing. But uh, if I get that kind of interest, then I will definitely try and make another channel. Otherwise, I'm just going to upload some stuff to this channel every once in a while. Um, but uh, those those car shows are really fun. It's it was, it was a cars and coffee, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I got to go to it with one of my friends who, if you could not tell, was in a lot of my shots, or were in a lot of my shots. So if you see the same person over and over, and over again in the same shot, uh, it was my friend, 
Um, and I'm going to another one next month. Um, so yay. That'll be fun. Um, hopefully a lot, a lot more stuff shows up. Um, this time, uh, the one I went to, uh, my friend is actually kind of surprised that uh, a lot of newer stuff came instead of the older, you know, classic cars that he's used to in his car shows. He's from Long Island. I think that was six. Oh, four. Oh, boy. Uh, I think I hit that sixth one. Um, but he's used to a lot more classic cars showing up because the Long Island crowd is a lot older and they have a lot more collectibles, um, while the Boston area crowd is generally a little younger, so they really, really like to bring out their toys, almost. It's kind of... just like to bring out their fun stuff. Um, the funny thing is, is that at that car show, I actually saw a car that... Uh, that was that actually appeared at my school's um, car show last year, and I actually put a picture up on Instagram, which is pretty funny because I I actually gave that car like three looks. I was like, something. This car looks really familiar, and I saw the license plate. I was like, that is the same exact license plate because I've taken a picture of this car and used it on my on my website. Um, so go figure. I actually saw one of the cars that. Uh, uh, that appeared in my car show. It's really weird that I actually memorized their license plate. But it's not a hard license plate to remember. A hard license plate to remember because it's so easy. It's so easy to recognize. Um, but uh, I still found that pretty funny. Um, but it was cool seeing the car there. Um, it was a really nice car. It was, a, it was a Corvette C7. It was a 7th generation. I think it was a 2014 Corvette. Um... So it was very nice to see those Corvettes there. Uh, there were some older Corvettes. There was a Z06 that showed up. If you guys know anything about cars, it was the crazy supercharged um, Corvette, 650 horsepower, I believe. So it's a whew. anyway. We got a perfect day when I was jibber jabbering about cars the entire time instead of talking about the game. Um, so yay! I just need to complete ten more days of service, and let's look. So we can upgrade lasagna. We have air conditioning. The today, Sherry said, we'll be fighting against robberies. We're now replacing our broken security cameras with brand new ones. In the meantime, please be aware that any criminal activity should be immediately reported to our security. Any details about the crime, blah, blah, blah. Robberies can occur randomly during the day, and it can have a negative impact on both Buzz and your bank account. No way to get your money back and not to receive negative Buzz for the details to capture the robber using your excellent artistic skills. Um, okay. I hate robbers. Are you tired of being lonely? Cook for love. Wear blah, blah, blah. A perfect day, I get an extra bonus. Menu rot's occurring. Uh, safety inspection is coming. Gadget reviews, okay. I want to buy the air conditioner because people are not patient enough to purchase. Uh, makes the customers more patient. And I need to upgrade my food. I'm gonna upgrade my lasagna. Uh, we're gonna go into my active menu, and something. Oh, a lot of things are rotting. Oh boy! Put the corn dog in. Put this in. Okay, so we're gonna put fish as the active menu item, and burgers somehow decreases my buzz. So we're gonna keep it out, and we're gonna start the next day. Hopefully, a robber does not come in because I will crap my pants. I hate dealing with robbers in this game. Uh, fish. Um, oh, robbers are like the worst thing because you have to be in the middle of, of cooking like half of your customers' orders and then you have to deal with the robber and then you'll have no, and then you'll accidentally overcook everything. Um, so I need to learn to finish all the orders and then deal with the robber right afterwards because the robber does stay uh, on the screen for a little bit and then it'll retract just like any order. Uh, three, uh, TCB. Um, so I have to learn to do that and then... I'll be all dandy with the robber stuff. I hate the safety inspector. I actually don't think I've ever failed a safety inspection can. Yeah, I've like literally never failed a safety inspection. I don't know. It, it's just not possible, I don't think. <laughs> Unless you like really forget to do all your chores, then you can fail in safety inspection, but normally you can't. It's just not possible. And there's the person goes. <laughs> Goodbye. Ugh, can I rush hour start? This is really bad buzz. This is horrible buzz. Three small color with no ice and flavor blast. Like literally, there is zero buzz. 
my restaurant is dead just because I had the fish on the menu, that means the morning was really sucky. Uh, TCB1, uh, TCB OMG, two small cold ice and flavor blast. Even this rush hour is like super slow. Oh no, it's gonna clog up my restaurant. Oh no, come on, cook faster. Um, ice and flavor blast, uh, four, uh, TCO1, three, two, one. Come on, come on, okay, this is. Oh, no, no, sorry, speed up. RCB. Uh, two, uh, three, meaning clone ice and flavor blast. One RCB, one G. Uh, come on, one. Like this is not rush hour. This is like, this is like a good amount of buzz that I would like in my restaurant. Seriously. Ice and flavor blast. A C O. Four flush of toilet. Three small water with ice. And one, RG to throw away the trash. And my buzz is only down up to 34%. And I have some negative, uh, something negatively impacting my buzz. Just ketchup. Seems like the, the corn dogs are not very popular. Only two people have bought corn dogs so far. Um, come on. This is really slow. Mustard. I can literally just take my time with these orders and. and I'd be perfectly fine because there's no one coming into the restaurant. I wish I got one of those things where you just press the make the buzz higher. One of those picture things. Just have to wait for the mid afternoon to pass and then start getting to evening. And then we'll have more people start trickling in, hopefully. Because this is this is quite painful to sit through. Oh, there we go. Buzz is up now to 44%. We have the safety inspector back. And uh yeah. Whew. Still doesn't feel like the buzz went up at all. Like 10% is very minimal impact on uh, the amount of people that show up in the restaurant. <sighs> like literally, this person left. Uh, this person came in right as this person was leaving. So, and then TCO, and the second rush hour will be coming in just about two hours, or it feels like one eternity. Man, I can't wait to get higher buzz. Uh, well, after this day, this uh, the safety inspector will give me an extra 10% buzz, so my next, the next episode will have a better buzz, hopefully. It'll be in the 50s, maybe, I assume, if I can fill all these orders correctly and not screw up something royally. Uh, okay, we're almost at rush hour, and uh, hopefully that will get things going, because I'm tired of getting these tiny little orders. Throw away the trash, too. Oh, uh, almost rush hour. Okay, one order coming in. Uh, small tea with ice and flare blast, and the safety inspector too. Oh boy. Okay, two jumbo. Wow, everyone's ordering sodas right now. What the hell is going on? <laughs> that was insane. Just everyone was ordering sodas. See, more sodas. Okay, uh, RCM. At least you're not ordering a damn soda. If I have to cook four fish, fish, I'm gonna. Just fall over. This is really slow. To a uh, small diet with ice. Three, one, uh, G. Okay. Wash the dishes, and no one's coming into the restaurant. It's RCBO, two flush of toilet. Three, uh, TCBOMG, one, TCG, two more buzz. Uh, three, uh, cut the fish. One, uh, just greens. To a small tea with ice, and that's the end of rush hour. We wow, that was that was not a fun rush hour. There's literally no one in the restaurant. I wonder if buzz has an effect on the rush hour. I feel like it does. Like if you have a much higher buzz, your rush hour is much more chaotic. But uh, I don't really know. I, I've I've uh, I mean I've played this game quite a bit in my uh, other account. That's how I memorize all these crazy recipes and things because it looks like I'm just mashing random buttons but I'm actually like I actually remember a lot of uh, these things like I've, I said this before um, you start to memorize a lot of these keys because they're repeated in this in different recipes so if you know tomato is tea for example let's fill this order tomato is tea for example in one in one recipe and most likely is tea in another recipe there are some exceptions where 
you know, chicken is not the same in every recipe. One C and one's K. It's because C is used up by something that's like cheese or cheese. <laughs> okay. Okay, I almost messed that one up. But uh, otherwise, everything is pretty much exactly the same. I think this is the last word that's going to come in. Wow, that was uneventful. Filled two perfect days in a row. Wow. It's quite, quite an achievement. Okay, so we're going to continue. And, yeah, that was, I'm sorry, those were not very eventful days. Uh, let's actually... Fifth upgrade available. Cool. Chicken breast upgrade available. Great restaurant. Uh, I get a 10% buzz. Good day, sir. Today's home. I have been starting hacking. What? Wait. Your cooking skills are about to be challenged. Never mind. Blah, blah, blah. I'll give you three tickets to start with and you can purchase. Okay. Steam leader word challenges. A perfect day. I get an extra 250 odd bonus. I get an extra 10% buzz. And yeah, okay. Clear my email. We have 55% buzz to start the next day. And uh, we'll start right here in the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.